Hello, I'm Silverton, this is Randy Henry, and I'm working on The Great Alaskan, and this is my latest installment, and you'll notice that today it is not Saturday morning. No, it's a freaking Monday morning, because I'm retired. Uh, so, yeah, I have spent the last week learning how to be retired, which to me is all about a uh, little bit of structure, a little bit of pacing, uh, a few hours here, a few hours there. I'm only one week into it, I'm sure I have a lot to learn, but anyway, so far, so good. So you might be wondering what the big update is today. Um, haven't really got one. I have started about three different uh, video pieces and kind of chucked them all because what I'm doing is just slow and steady and not very exciting. So it turns out so it just reminded me of a story. When I was 14, I climbed Mount Rainier. I'm not bragging. Uh, it sounded like an adventure to me. I believe my mother used the word builds character when she suggested I go along on this trip. Uh, it was the hardest thing I'd ever done up to that point. And I'm sitting here reflecting, thinking that one good reason to have your kids do really hard things, things that they didn't know were going to be as hard as they are, you know, obviously without killing them, is when they finish it, they realize that what they thought maybe were the boundaries really aren't the boundaries and they can do more. And my sense of adventure, and I think back about <laughs> climbing Rainier, I'm thinking, I'm getting to the top, I'm getting to the top, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. How many times, uh, well, at the time I wish I'd never said that because the top, you, you never really get to the top until you're at the top. And it's very demoralizing to get there. So I learned how to kind of play that mind game. I've climbed several mountains since, I've done a lot of big projects. And at work and at home, and this is a really big project. And I find myself a few times thinking, I'm almost there, I'm almost ready to start the next phase. No. Just no. Uh, the, when you look at a structure like this, you think, oh, cool, I'm, how many times have I said this? I'm gonna start on the cabin next week. And then you figure out that no, you're not gonna start on the cabin next week because as long as you're doing the gunnels, you might as well get them in good shape. You might as well fill the voids, fill the screw holes, sand down the edges, plane them, get a good fair uh, curve on everything. And then the more you do it, the more you look at it, the more you realize it needs a little more work. And then, and then you think, God almighty, I'm spending a pile of money to build this thing. I want it to look really good. Why would I cut corners at this point? I'm just not. So I have taken a lesson from climbing Mount Rainier and I'm not gonna say I'm almost there anymore. But I have done quite a few things in my cramped little shop here. One of the things is I have uh, decided to true up what's gonna be my European style transom. Um, I laid in two three quarter inch pieces of uh, marine ply. Uh, I have done the filleting underneath to a good radius and I will come back and I will fiberglass, I will lay fiberglass tape over this like you do on every seam. I will double the connection up uh, there to uh, the shear shelves and I will do a good lap down here and on the inside too on both sides because the goal here is a little different than what the plans had called for uh, but you really want to make sure that you've got the um, transom here upon which the 200 horsepower Suzuki will go. That's gotta be tied in really well to the frame. Um, I'm gonna do some additional bracing as per the instructions um, from the transom down to the longitudinal stringers, um, just to make sure this is where the motor will be mounted, this is where the picker will be mounted. Um, over here, I'm going to have a slight extension come back uh, that will fold. Um, there will be a drawer-like structure uh, to which a folding ladder will slide out and flip down. So some of that affects what I do inside the boat, so I decided to um, spend some time on that and get it right. So it is starting to look uh, a little more finished. It's a little more fun to do this on the retired end of things because I can you know, spend a morning doing something that is much more kind of cosmetic, get things smoothed out, where you don't see a lot of gain, uh, and then do something structural in the afternoon. Um, 
but it's like I keep saying, it's coming along. I'm literally right now spending hours going back, filling holes in the gunnels, uh, planing or sanding the edges to get um, things as true as I can on those, on the sure shelves. Um, sanding down a little bit on the edges. I've got some gaps to fill there between um, the sure shelf cap and the side of the boat where there's some voids. So I just decided to spend some time and do the finishing work there. I spent the first week of my uh, retirement um, actually cleaning. I didn't take any time off. We have uh, family things going on I got to hang around for, so no big trips. Um, so I decided to get my shop back in shape. I cleaned, I sorted, I dumped. Um, just tried to get things a little bit organized so I can move on to uh, phase two, the inside piece of this chapter. Uh, I have made sure that I've got supplies stocked up uh, and I'm putting in you know, six, eight hours a day on this right now unless I've got a big yard project I need to do uh, and I will continue forth. So hopefully I can get these regular updates going again, but I just really don't want to bore you with, you know, 10 minutes or five minutes of sanding and sanding and sanding. It's not exciting. Uh, but it's the difference between a boat that looks pretty decent and a boat that looks really good. <sighs> I've seen what awesome is. I don't think I can get there. Uh, Boy, some of the folks who are building these around are just making beautiful, beautiful pieces of furniture. I, I want my boat to be pretty. I want it to be really functional but using bird's eye maple and striped mahogany and everything else is gonna take a level of patience that even Mr. Matt Rainer doesn't have. So that's all for this week. I will check in next time I do something significantly structural, like the bulkhead, front bulkhead, or the anchor deck. That would be fun too, but I'm not saying I'm close. It'll happen when it happens. Thanks guys.